Hi everybody. Today is January 10th, 2023, and tonight is my sixth uh, day of starting the fly five floor Uracil. So again, I treat at night and go through the next day. So tomorrow night will be day seven. Um, today, I definitely felt a little bit more dry. Um, most definitely hot. I could, I could definitely tell you that my skin felt um, just hot all day. Almost like if you don't have air conditioning and you're kind of on the borderline of, oh, do I turn it on or not turn it on? That's kind of where I was today. In addition to that, I had some errands I had to run. So I put on my five floor Uracil and I waited my 30 minutes and then I put on a nice heavy coat of my Kroger brand Sport 50 sunscreen. Um, went ahead and I ran, hmm, I don't know, four or five errands with my hat and um, sunglasses in the car. And then uh, going into these different buildings, of course, you know, I was wearing my hat and felt utterly ridiculous, but uh, you do what you have to do to keep the light off you and the sunlight off you. And I don't want to imply that, uh, for example, store lights are painful by any means. I'm just being ultra cautious because I do have this cream on and because I have had so many different skin cancers that I don't want to aggravate anything, especially while using a chemo cream. But what I would like to do is just kind of tell you some of the things that I have on hand um, for when my skin starts reacting and things to make me more comfortable. And I know that everybody has a different doctor and the doctor most definitely has their own things that they want you to take. But um, through my research and watching different YouTube videos and then the page that my doctor gave me, uh, these are the things that I wanted to have on hand ahead of time, and I'm really glad that I do. So, the first one that I have is the good old standby ibuprofen. And that will most definitely come in handy. And I can piggyback that or use it intermittently or interchangeably with um, acetaminophen. So I have acetaminophen here. And then I have always liked liquid pain reliever if I can find it just, especially when you're kind of on the edge and you know, you're, you're worried about how long is it going to take to kick in. So I also have the liquid acetaminophen on hand. And in addition to that, they recommend having um, some moisturizing ointment so that, you know, as your skin gets dry, and let me tell you, I can feel it getting dry, the um, moisture barrier, you can at least give yourself some comfort with that. So I purchased from Walmart online, actually, the Aquaphor Healing Ointment, and I got it in a big tub. I will, I will not use this whole thing on my face most certainly, but it can be used anywhere on your body. You can use it on your heels. You can use it on your elbows. You know, it's a great facial moisturizer, especially if you're kind of past that age where you get acne. Um, a lot of women use this overnight and, and um, just pile it on. The other thing that I have on hand, and I've already had this, um, is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. And I actually had this for when I had my Mohs surgery on my nostril right here. And I liked it just fine. However, my daughter works in an emergency room. She's a PA. And she by far stands by the doctor and his recommendation for Aquaphor. So we'll see which way I go. I'll definitely let you know. And then in addition to that... Um, I have the Aquaphor Lip Balm, and I have always been a Carmex person. I love Carmex. My daughter said most definitely get the Aquaphor, and I had a terrible time finding it, so I finally ordered it off of eBay and got a great deal on it. So I would encourage you, if you're having trouble just because of shortages and whatnot, finding products that uh, will help you through your recovery, look at eBay. These sellers, they're not... You don't have to worry about anything. I, I'm an eBay seller, so I can tell you that. Um, 
The other thing that they recommended is also having a daily moisturizer um, that when you finish your treatment, you can, um, you know, use that. And I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And in addition to that, I also have a CeraVe uh, Daily Hydrating Cleanser. And the hydrating cleanser can be used during your treatment with 5-fluorouracil. And it will not only clean your skin, it'll help slough your skin, and then it'll help moisturize your skin. So it is something that, um, you know, if, if you can find it, it's a... It's actually a really nice cleanser. It's not going to take your makeup off when you're done with your treatment and you need to um, start going back to removing face makeup and that kind of thing. But as a gentle cleanser, it's fantastic. And then the other thing that they told me to have on hand um, is the 1% hydrocortisone cream. And of course, I shop our local Walmart and try and get as much you know product as I can there just because it's more discounted. But um, you'll have to use that according to your doctor's recommendations because for an extended use of the hydrocortisone, you don't want to thin your skin and you want, you want to be able to have it there for comfort and for itching, but you also don't want to go overboard and start using it like a moisturizer because it is making you more comfortable. You, you most definitely are only using it to relieve extreme symptoms. So follow your doctor's recommendation on that. But those are the things that um, I definitely have on hand. And I'm curious to see when I'm going to start diving into, for example, the pain relievers. According to my doctor, he does not um, prescribe any type of pain medication. And I have seen different YouTubers mention that their doctors have prescribed pain medication because it does get so bad. So... <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of worried, but, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, outside of that, I thought I'd give you a, a close-up of my face today. And um, again, we all know I take a bath around 7 o'clock at night. And I wait for my skin to dry before I put the 5 4 laurier cell on. And um, I'm just about there, ready to put it on. So I'm going to give you a, a close-up. I just really don't know what to expect. And hopefully you can see what this looks like. And my eyebrows. These are the areas that I'm really oddly enough concerned about. And then of course I had this little pink spot just come up within, I don't know, an hour or two after I put my first treatment on. And then I have these spots right in here that have been frozen off multiple times. This right here was just a, a familial mole. Um, you know, everyone in my family has, a, you know, a mole here, a mole here, a mole here. But I just asked the doctor to take it off. It was benign. So that is hopefully nothing <laughs> came up benign. So we'll see. But anyhow, so that's it for the beginning of day six. So I hope everybody's having a really good day and I will see you again tomorrow for another update and I'll let you know how the night went and yeah. So thank you.